Hey, hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Mecca of Bodybuilding, Gold Shin here in Venice, California. I just got back from the Olympia, did a photo shoot there focused on chest, shoulders, and arms. So I was thinking what better way than to kick off this new YouTube video series than to focus on chest. This is a full workout. We're gonna be looking at every exercise, set, rep, training technique, and the focus is all about conditioning and separation in the chest. I've been doing a lot of mobility uh, warm up, so I'm gonna spend a few minutes, five, seven, eight minutes, um, doing some resistance work for my chest, mobilize around the shoulder, really stretch out the muscle fibers in the pecs. Then uh, a few light circuits here. Uh, we've got some pec deck flies, some dumbbell presses, and uh, we'll do some push-ups, really get some blood pulled into the chest. And then we get started on the main heavy compound workouts early on in this training session. This, um, if you haven't got one, don't use a tennis ball. You need it a little bit more dense. It's not quite as soft as a tennis ball. Um, any good sports store or a, a lacrosse ball. Something nice and hard, and this is how we're gonna really get into the muscle fibers. Um, give it a nice kind of active stretch, and that's really gonna set us up well for moving on to our first exercise. So what I'm doing is basically um, fixing the ball on uh, the pad, I'm getting it right into that kind of crevice there. Kind of the insertion of where that, you feel with your uh, fingers, kind of push in on the chest. You feel where the muscle goes right in, sort of under the shoulder area there. That's where the ball is. You can use your hand, but you keep it on a fixed surface. And then use our body weight as resistance. Oh, it needs to be painful to the point where you can hold it just slight movements. Big deep breaths in. Oh, taking it through a range of motion. Just right there. I just feel all of those fibers in the chest start to become unglued. They start to open out, stretch, feeling a lot more freer. Stretch, mobility done. A little warm up circuit done. Mentally, physically, I'm ready. Let's move on. Uh, we're going to jump right into the first of our five main working exercises. Alright, so the first of our exercises are uh, two pressing movements. We're going to use the Smith machine and then a hammer strength or an isolated, you know, uh, unilateral type, uh, type of movement. We're going to do some wide grip on here, not too wide. You're going to see from a standard, I'm going to deviate to a wide grip. The emphasis on the chest. Uh, we're going to incorporate some drop sets in here, some strip sets. We're going to finish off with more of a narrow grip. It's really good at uh, pump in the upper region of the chest. We're moving on to do some single arm machine presses. So, not too heavy here. No more than 12 repetitions. But it's the tempo, the cadence. Slow it down. Deep, deep, deep. Force it up. Squeeze and hold. And repeat. We start adding too much weight on here. I lose that pump in the muscle. I'm more focused about just moving that weight up rather than how the muscle is feeling. So ask yourself that next time you're doing your workout. Are you trying to lift the most amount of weight that you can move? Or are you really trying to think about that muscle working and think, is this too heavy for me to efficiently be working, conditioning and feeling that muscle? We can go up on here, not too heavy. Uh, another 25 pounds at most, that'll be our upper limit. And then the name of the game today, drop sets, strip sets, uh, super sets. We're gonna keep the intensity high without using too much weight. Mentally, we're ready. That was 
was eight, eight solid reps. We're gonna take off two, leaving our 45 on there. We're gonna go right back down into it. If I can get another eight repetitions after taking 30, 40% weight off, I'll be on track. Another eight repetitions without killing myself. I've still got some juice left in the tank. Now it's about volume. I'm gonna take this off. Uh, we'll put half the weight back on and just do a burnout. Uh, uh. Uh, let's head over to our second exercise. Uh, isolateral hammer strength, incline press. Separation. Nice, slow, smooth and control. You don't want to go too heavy, but you want it to be enough resistance that for at least 10 reps, you're reaching that limit of, oh, it's getting tough, it's getting harder. That 11th rep, whew, 12th rep, yeah, that's it. So. Sometimes you need to play around with the weights and find where that right point, that Goldilocks zone is. Not too heavy, not too light, just right. I'm using this leg to anchor myself down. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's it. doesn't always have to be uh, dead weight, like with these plates. Resistance can come in the form of uh, literal resistance, increasing amount of resistance against that muscle. So, I'll loop the band around, put it here. As soon as I start to reach that full contraction in the muscle, it's become increasingly uh, more challenging to push out. It's as much a mental game as it is physically draining. You gotta be mentally strong, you gotta be happy coming into the gym. If you're not happy, you're not gonna have a happy workout. All right, we're, uh, we're down to the final three. I'm gonna perform this in a circuit. So one exercise, then we're gonna move immediately onto the next, and then finishing with the third set, I'm gonna do this three times. Let's just do it. All right, so final, uh, Third circuit here. Flies, you're gonna see all of the different uh, fibers really start to work. Uh, dips, and then cables, and we're done. I'll put my shirt back on, uh, we'll be out of here. So, <laughs> let's finish on a high. Power of our dips. I want to show the distinction between focusing on the triceps and the chest. Now, both obviously are going to be worked. Tricep dips, we tend to be more upright, like so, having your arms like this. What I'm focusing on is more pec. So I'm going to tilt forwards, my arms are more out. So work on the triceps, but right there. Right, let's finish off from those cable flies. We're wrapped up with this workout. 
Workout done. Whatever your, your reason is, whether it's for photo shoots, however that might look, you're on stage, doing all the poses. Fact is, this workout is all about uh, working that chest, the full spectrum with it, from a variety of different angles, movement, compound, isolation, isolateral, uh, body weight. We've got it all in there. And you know what? I feel great. No uh, issues with my joint, my shoulders, my elbows. Thanks to the mobility, stretch, warm up. One more thing, we're done. It's all yours. It's all yours, we're, we're taking up too much time. Listen, I wanna show one more thing, and that is my weight. Looking at me now, I'm five foot 10. You might be thinking, okay, well, how, how heavy is this guy? Well, let me show you, because it might surprise you, my real weight uh, and how I look. And I just want to show what's possible without thinking that what you might want to achieve is too far out of your reach. So, uh, let's do this. I'm going to keep my top with me. Let's go over to the scale. Now, pounds, kilos, stone. Have a guess how, how much I weigh without watching the rest of the video right now. Have a guess, comment below, and the time code as well. Comment. Let me know what you think. I want to see, I want to see if anyone really gets my weight correct based on how I look. And I'm not trying to trying to oversell it or anything, it just it was a surprise to me. So this is me, five foot ten. Let's take a look. I want to show, I'm not messing with it. Here we go. Uh, we're set in pounds. This is zero. I've got my shoes on. Let's see if I'm the same weight that I think I am. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh wow. 168 pounds, 0.2, two ounces. 168 pounds. I thought I was heavier. So um, I'm going to leave it there. Had a great time back with uh, James Soda Films here at the Mecca, Gold Gym, here in California. If you're down here, and if you see me, no matter what kind of training face I've got on, if you wanna come say hi, just come give me a tap on the shoulder. It's always good to meet new people, take photos, chat, talk about fitness, and hear, uh, you know, your story, where you've come from, what your goals are, and um, just one big connection here. So, uh, on that note, I think I need to go eat and put some more weight on. Uh, I'll see you guys back here in the gym. Let me know what else you want to see. We'll be in the kitchen. More training videos. Uh, I've had a real blast. Hope to see you back for the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.